Can mesenchymal stem cells be used as a cellular therapy for inhibiting pathological immunity or immune responses that cause harm to the body? This is an issue that we're going to be discussing in the context of a recently published paper uh, in the journal Blood. Now the background of our discussion is that stem cells are usually associated with regeneration. So for example, stem cells are being used in clinical trials to regenerate injured myocardium, they are used to induce new blood vessel formation, and to regenerate liver, as an example. But if stem cells have the ability to also inhibit inflammation, this would be a very beneficial feature which would allow stem cells to be used for different autoimmune conditions uh, such as diabetes or multiple sclerosis or also conditions in which the, um, there is a chronic inflammation that needs to be subsided. So it would be very exciting because on the one hand you could inhibit the ongoing tissue damage, on the other hand you can induce regeneration of tissue that already has been damaged. But why would we even think along these lines? Why would um, stem cell be able to inhibit pathological immune responses? Well, to answer that, we need to go over some of the biology of the hematopoietic stem cell, the cell that makes blood. Um, hematopoietic stem cells are found in the bone marrow, and they are very, very sensitive to inflammation. Even a small amount of an inflammatory mediator, such as TNF, throws the whole hematopoietic system out of whack. So um, surrounding the hematopoietic stem cells are a type of stem cells called uh, stromal cells or mesenchymal stem cells. And it is the function of these cells to regulate hematopoiesis and also to protect the hematopoietic stem cell from inflammation. So with this idea, investigations have begun as to whether the bone marrow or mesenchymal stem cell can actually inhibit immune responses, pathological immune responses. So the first table of the of the paper we're discussing, basically uh, co-cultures, PBMCs, uh, which is immune cells, peripheral blood mononuclear cells, with an activator called PHA. And when you co-culture these cells with PHA, you see multiplication of T cells. As you can see, the numbers where it says PBMC plus PHA are in the 25,000 area. When you add mesenchymal stem cells, different types of mes different numbers of mesenchymal stem cells, you can see a very potent suppression of proliferation, almost tenfold decrease. So we know from this table that the mesenchymal stem cells shut off T cell activation in a relatively uh, crude assay. In order to, um, to look at actual uh, mediators that are affected, um, in this figure on the, where it says A, the change in TNF alpha secretion is is, uh, mediate, is is looked at. So we see mesenchymal stem cells alone do not secrete TNF alpha. Activating them with LPS does not induce TNF alpha secretion. DC1 is a population of dendritic cells that are inflammatory. Uh, DC1 uh, cells themselves do not make um, TNF alpha if they're not stimulated. But if you stimulate DC1 with LPS, you see a large increase in TNF alpha production. This increase is reduced by co culture with mesenchymal stem cells. Now, if we look at interleukin 10, which is an inhibitory cytokine, an anti inflammatory cytokine, we also see a DC2, a type of cell that actually makes interleukin 10 and has anti inflammatory properties. If you give LPS, you see an increase in interleukin 10. And if you give LP LPS plus, mesenchymal stem cells to the DC2 population, you see a very large increase in interleukin 10. So we know on the one hand that mesenchymal stem cells shut off inflammatory cytokines such as TNF, and on the other hand, they upregulate expression of anti-inflammatory cytokines such as interleukin 10. Now if we look at T cells, T cells that are being grown, Th1 cells produce inflammatory cytokines called uh, interferon gamma, if you co-culture these with mesenchymal stem cells, interferon gamma secretion is suppressed. Interleukin-4, which is an anti-inflammatory cytokine, its expression from Th2 cells is upregulated. So now we know that mesenchymal stem cells not only can shut off dendritic cells uh, for making inflammatory cytokines, but can also shut off T cells for making inflammatory cytokines. Now, there's a special type of T cell that suppresses other 
inflammatory T cells is called the T regulatory cell. And when you incubate uh, T regulatory cells with mesenchymal stem cells, um, on the left hand panel you see control, on the right hand panel is incubated with mesenchymal stem cells, you can see an expansion, a five-fold expansion. So now we also know that besides modulating cytokines, it appears mesenchymal stem cells can expand T regulatory cells, which are a type of anti-inflammatory T cell. And the natural killer cell is another type of immune cell. The cell um, primarily secretes uh, cytokine interferon gamma as well as other other cytokines. And as we can see in the figure, natural killer cells are cultured in vitro. When you add interleukin-2, they make interferon gamma. This is a activation stimuli, one of the activation stimuli for NK cells. When you co-culture NK cells plus interleukin-2 in the presence of mesenchymal stem cells, you shut off interferon gamma production. Now, how could this work? What kind of mechanisms? Well, one mechanism which was seems to have been identified in the paper is prostaglandin E2. And as you can see, the, the figure kind of, is a little bit complicated, but what it's showing is where it says PBMC near the middle is the produ is um, proliferation of PBMCs. And uh, PBMCs are stimulated with PHA to proliferate. Uh, when you give PBMCs endomycin, and endomethacin, which is an um, inhibitor of PGE2, you don't see any, any um, modulation of proliferation. When you use another PGE2 inhibitor, NS398, you don't see any inhibition. Uh, but when you co-culture the mesenchymal stem cells with PBMCs, you see inhibition, which is what we talked about in the first figure. Mesenchymal stem cells shut off PBMC proliferation. And when you block PGE2, either with endomethacin or with um, NS398, you see a restoration of proliferation of PBMCs. So we know at least in one sense PG2 is involved in in suppressing some of the immune module uh, some of the inflammatory responses by mesenchymal stem cells. So in conclusion, it does appear that mesenchymal stem cells can suppress proliferation of uh, cells activated in vitro. It can suppress the inflammatory cytokine interferon gamma and also TNF alpha. And it can stimulate anti-inflammatory cytokines such as IL-4 and IL-10, as well as stimulate proliferation of anti-inflammatory cells such as T-regulatory cells. At least some of the activities are being mediated by prostaglandin E2. So this study, while it's it's an in vitro study, it goes over a lot of the different immune parameters: um, antigen presenting cells, dendritic cells, uh, T cells, and NK cells, and it shows globally that mesenchymal stem cells have an anti-inflammatory activity. So, uh, based on this study and other studies, it appears that mesenchymal stem cells at least have some therapeutic value at blocking pathological inflammation. Thank you very much.